Hello gamers and welcome back to another Hotpixel Skyblock video. This is the Golden Man Profile, where I can now buy weapons, armor, or tools. And today is the day I get Fermento Armor. Last video, I got my hands on Squash Armor, and to upgrade it, I need to farm Sugarcane, Cacti, Mushrooms, and Netherworks. Which means I have to unlock this entire row of plots to build the farms. I already knocked out two of these last time, so I only need to get three more. And I have been saving up my compost. I got 1.2 thousand, but I'm not sure how many compost bundles that's got. Only seven? Are you kidding me? Dude, that's ridiculous. Wait, let me claim this. Is that enough to make the eighth? No, that's not enough. Bruh. I even ran out of boxes of seeds. I started using my enchanted melon blocks, but it's still not enough. Okay, let me unlock this one at least. And I'm gonna wait until I have enough for this one, which is gonna be another two compost bundles. And then I'm just gonna buy the other eight I need for this one. I am not waiting for this, bro. This is ridiculous. Also, since last video, I actually spoke to all the NPCs I've been missing, including Beth. And there she is. She already visited me. So I just need to give her, I just need to give her this. And there we go. Now I think I have to wait for her to visit again, or maybe I have to go talk to Jake. I just looked it up and I'm going to have to wait until she revisits me three times before I can actually get the accessory. Okay. That's enough to make another compost bundle. And uh, I'll see you in five hours. And there we go. That's eight compost bundles. Let me just claim the rest. And I only got four, meaning I have to insta buy the other four. Ouch, this is gonna hurt my purse. Anyways, I can now buy this. This better be eight. Oh my god, it's ten compost bundles. Why you gotta be like this, Hypixel? Plus three farming fortune and five Skyblock XP, though. That's so worth. Okay, now that I have the pots, I can finally get to building. And the farm is completed. What? What the? Is that Phoenix from Valorant? Dude, you're on the wrong game. Oh, my bad, bro. I hadn't noticed. What are you doing here anyways? I'm just trying to think of a way to segue to this video's sponsor, but I can't think of anything. Oh, well, can't you just use this? Oh, you know what? Yeah, that works. That was an awful impersonation. God damn. I may sound like him, but I definitely ain't him. This video is sponsored by Dubbing AI. What is Dubbing AI, I hear you ask? It's an AI real-time voice changer, so you can change your voice as you're talking. It's pretty insane. You get 10 free characters each day and they rotate every 24 hours. And in total, they have over 500 voices to choose from. They have Varan characters, League. They have a ton of anime characters. You got Genshin Impact, Star Rail, even Overwatch. As I said, they have over 500 to pick and choose from. Wait, hold on. Let me try this out real quick. Test? What the f dude? How do I sound like that? How can I sound like that? They also have a soundboard in the app, and my favorite part about this is the community sounds, because people share all sorts of memes in here, and you can very easily add these. Just add a quick hockey, and uh... Oh. Yeah, you can just start spamming this on your Discord calls. And speaking of Discord calls, it's extremely easy to set up. You just go to your settings, voice and video, and then you just simply change your input device to dubbing virtual device. 
and you can set this up on Discord, Steam, Valorant, Fortnite, even OBS. And the app has a step-by-step -step guide on how to do this in every single one of them. I've actually been using this in Discord calls myself, and it's a lot of fun to mess around with. And as I said, you get 10 free voices every single day, so you lose absolutely nothing. It's absolutely free. So I'll give it a try. I'll leave a link in the description. Thank you, WNI, for sponsoring the video. And let's get back to the grind. And the farm is completed. It's, uh... It's been like a month and a half since I built this, by the way. Anyhow, just like last time, I spent a little bit of time, you know, like uh, making it look somewhat pretty. We got some glass so you can see into the farms. We also got some high decor right here. I mean, even like a, a world famous architect couldn't come up with this. I, I am so good at this. I don't need wheat, potatoes, or even carrots for fermento, but I still decided to build them because, well, I would need the farms at some point eventually if I want to max out my tools. Anyways, uh, here are the farms that I need for the actual armor. We got some cacti. I didn't show this on the replay, but I actually placed down some doors here. I'll show you later what they're for when I actually farm the farm. When I actually farm the farm. That that sounds wrong, but it's right. Also, look who's back. It's Beth. I gotta give her four polished pumpkins. Say less. I think the next time she shows up is when I can have my accessory. Oh, this offer for the implosions failed. Okay, that's, that's all the money from last video. It's almost exactly 2.4 billion, actually a little bit more. Actually, now that I have money to spare, there's a skin I really want to get for my golden dragon. It's 300 million coins. That's basically a scroll, but it's such a good skin. I think I'll get it. I think I'll go for it. Okay, okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Ooh, that hurt. Ooh, that hurt. All right, time to apply it to the bozo. Where is he? There you go. Wow, 300 million coins for Steve head. That was truly worth. Okay, there we go, it actually loaded. Oh wait, it, it blinks! I didn't even know that. I didn't know it was animated. That is so cool, I love this skin, man. Let me just take it out of my pet menu and I can actually switch how it looks like. Uh, how does this one look? Ooh, it's like a Chinese style golden dragon. Requires cosmetic level. Oh wait, you unlock these with levels. I think I'll go with the black baby for now. The levels I mentioned are actually cosmetics because with this skin, your overflow XP counts as cosmetic levels. So now my pet is level 205. Let me check out how the pet looks. Okay, another Steve head. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's worth. That is so worth. 300 million coins down the drain, but that is so worth. Okay, uh, I got an armor set to upgrade, so back to farming. Oh, no. I, I just realized that I wasn't recording my mic for the past 10 minutes. So, extremely quick recap here. A sugarcane contest started while I was yapping. Mm -hmm. So, I had to quickly make my sugarcane hoe, enchant it with the basic stuff, reforge it, recombobulate it, and yeah, that's basically where we're at right now. And I just got silver, GG's. I was not expecting to get that, because as I said, this was an extremely scuffed start to the contest. I'm not gonna lie, the quartz make this look so nice. I usually have stone bricks or wood or something, but the quartz actually make this look so clean. Oh, wait, I'm done with the farm. Uh, I forgot to set my spawn point, so that's a bit of an L. And that is a full contest. It was extremely scoffed, but I still got silver. I'm only doing this for turbo bucks anyway, so even bronze would work. All right, now that the goofy contest is over, let me check what I need to craft my armor. And I can't check. I need to get a condensed fermento first. Also, what is this? Garden stack recipe. Oh, you can put Jacob's tickets in here. And all the pest items as well. That's pretty useful. It's only for fermento, so I'll definitely get this, but it's not really that high on my priority list. So I'll, I'll get that eventually for sure uh, trust anyways Let me just quickly get all my tickets and buy the tools. I need I need the cactus knife Sugarcane how I got I need the fungi cutter and I need a mathematical hole blueprint for my nether warts hoe Let me just quickly get some oh wait. Uh oh, uh, I don't have wait There's a contest happening boom. Oh, that is that is a nice texture. And let me just quickly enchant this thing Let's get the delicate five, cultivating, harvesting six, replenish. I think that's everything. Oh wait, I forgot to, whoops. Forgot to reforge it, recombobulate it, farming for dummies, gemstones. Okay, there we go. Pretty sure that's everything. All right, Goofy Eye contest is over. Let me keep enchanting the rest of the stuff. Wait, this one has two slots. Huh, I guess because it doesn't really upgrade to anything, so. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I think that's all my tools ready to go. Wait, actually, I think I might have enough. Okay, so this takes four stacks of enchanted nether warts. This one as well. Do I have enough enchanted sugar? One, two, three, four. Okay, I do have enough enchanted sugar. What about the nether warts? One, two, three, four. I do! Okay, do I have enough tickets? 
I do have enough tickets. Okay, there we go. I can already make tier two hoes right away. Boom. And never mind. I spoke too soon. I don't have enough tickets for this one. Wait, let me go claim. I should have a couple of tickets to claim from Jacob over here. I have nine unclaimed contests. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I definitely have enough. Boom, boom, bam, bam. There we go. Tier two hoes unlocked. I also have a bunch of turbo books saved up here. Oh, yeah, I have a lot of turbo cane here. Ooh, I can already make Turbo Cane 4. If you're wondering where I got the bugs from, I just went to the Mushroom Desert whenever I saw there's a contest happening, and it's very, very easy to get bronze. Can't say the same about warts, though, because I only got Turbo Warts 2. Let's quickly apply that. There we go. All right, now it's basically a matter of just farming and hoping I get the Fermento I need to get a condensed Fermento, and then I can work towards my armor, because I don't remember what resources I need. I obviously know I need all of these, but I'm not sure which quantities I need of which. But uh, yeah, I think I'll just farm some sugarcane, I think, because it's probably the most brain dead out of the bunch. They also added a command for this. I think it might be like set max speed. Yes. Okay, so three to seven. There's the first fermento. Second one. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Oh, actually, there's a cactus contest happening right now. Okay, hold on. Cactus is 400 speed, I'm pretty sure. So let me just do that. Okay, I don't know which angle to go. I think we'll just go with this. And then you just literally zoom across. Whoops. Okay, bad angle. Bad angle. I repeat, bad angle. I think like zero or something like that. Yeah. Now I just zoom across. Uh oh. I don't have. I don't have enchanted cactus green in my thing. Okay. There we go. Should be good now. Wow. This is so entertaining. You can totally tell what's going on, and it's definitely not killing the quality of the video. Okay. I'm at the end. Walk backwards, and boom. The door stops me at the perfect position, so I don't have to think whatsoever. Once I hit the end, I just walk backwards and walk in the opposite direction. That's all I have to do. Oh, just got a fermento. Hey, okay, there we go. That was pretty quick, actually. Uh, let's get the first condensed fermento. Let me check what I need for my armor. Okay, half a stack of each. Same here. Same here. And same. Oh, wow, I need a lot of mushrooms and sugarcane. I guess I'll prioritize the sugarcane, I think, because that's probably going to take the longest. Also, I am catching up to gold. I think gold is pretty much guaranteed, but I don't think I can get anything higher than that. I literally don't have the turbo enchant whatsoever on this tool. Hey, we made it. Let's go. Actually, I'm catching up surprisingly quickly to platinum. Okay, like five minutes left, and I slowed down significantly. Oh, I made it. I wasn't even paying attention. I made it to plat. I guess not that many people farm cactus. All right, the contest is over. I surprisingly got plat. Again, I was not expecting to do that whatsoever. Let me get out of here. That place is claustrophobic as hell. Okay, let me just quickly see how much cacti green I got from that. I had absolutely nothing in my sacks. Wait, I can just do slash recipe enchanted cactus. I can just do this and it takes the stuff out of my sacks as well. So that's way easier than uh, crafting it by myself. Anyways, we got six and I need a total of 25. So I gotta farm this like four more times. If this took me 20 minutes, then I got like another hour and 20 minutes. Well, let's say, let's say an hour. Let's just say an hour of farming cactus, which is not bad at all. Second least is probably gonna be the nether wards. Uh, but as I said, I'm probably gonna focus this because, well, it's probably gonna take the longest. Finally! It should not have taken me this long to get non fermento. Let me just check how much sugar I've got. I have almost a full sack of enchanted sugar just to get nine fermento. How much is that in enchanted sugar cane? Let me just check. What? 117. I've been farming for a while, but I didn't think it was that long. That's nearly two stacks. I mean, that's not much in terms of coins, but that's a lot of sugarcane. Okay, let me just craft my second condensed fermento. How much sugarcane do I need again? Half a stack there. Half a stack there. I need... Wait, I already have enough cane. I've already got enough cane. Bro, what? That was way too fast. Let me just quickly check my playtime. I have 111 hours in the garden, and when I started grinding the cane, I had like around 109. In like two hours, I already got enough cane. Bruh. Well, since I'm done with the cane, I mean, I guess I do have to upgrade my sugarcane hoe to tier 3, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'm gonna do my mushrooms. Okay, for the mushrooms, I think I'll probably just go with like the same speed as my other crops. 83, I think. I'm not sure though, because I am standing on soul sand now. Anyways, I think the angle is probably gonna be a little something like this, probably. I'm not sure. Let's see. Okay, yeah, this is way too slow though. What about like 130? Mmm, too fast. How about 100? Still too fast. 
Wait, let me just do some research real quick. Okay, I've been asking around for a while now, and I finally got an answer. The speed is 233, and the angle is whatever angle it is for me to look directly at the mushrooms. It is gonna be 180. And then I look to the left by 14 degrees, which makes it 166. And the yaw is 5.5 right there. There we go, perfect. Let me just fix my other angle now. And now I just press the A key and I'm farming this perfectly. And this is way faster than whatever I was trying to do earlier. I also enabled the farming tracker at the top left corner, as you can see. That just gives me a lot more information like my yaw, my profit, how long I've been farming, stuff like that. Just do my guests real quick. Also, it is next day. Why are they all asking for golden carrots? Okay, this guy's asking for enchanted cactus green. All right, just did all my guests. Oh, I leveled up, GG's, I'll take that. Anyhow, it is a new day, actually. I, I didn't really farm all that much yesterday, like in terms of mushrooms, I, I did farm a ton of sugar cane. Let me just check how many mushrooms I can make. 12 of the brown mushrooms, uh, how many of these? Only five, so yeah, I, I really did not farm that much yesterday. Anyways, the goal today is gonna be literally getting everything I need. So all the mushrooms, all the cactus, and all the nether warts. Now, now, I don't know if I can do this or not, but I'll be at this literally the whole day. So hopefully I can actually make it. Oh, actually there's a nether warts contest happening in 24 minutes. So once I finish the full harvest of this farm, I'll go ahead and start farming nether warts just so that I'm already farming them by the time the contest starts. There we go. And before I go farm the nether warts, let me just get a sign real quick. Write the angles down. So 166, 5.5, and then 266 speed. There we go. Just so I don't forget, because I have severe dementia. All right, for these guys, just go with like zero angle slash set max speed, 83 speed, I believe. There we go. Get me this, and uh, yeah, I can just farm now. Wait, what do I need for tier two of this? Oh, never mind. I already made the tier two because I have severe dementia. I'm working on towards the tier three now, and it's four stacks of mutant nether. How much is a stack of that? Oh, no, man, it's, it's not that much. It's like 26 million to get all the mutant nether warts. Yippee! Garden level 13. What does that give? Tier 7 crop upgrades? Actually, speaking of that, let me do that right away. That was a lot of copper. What else was there? 10% crop growth and 10 skyblock XP. Okay, I'll take the crop growth because my farms, they are infinite, but it's like slightly not infinite. Also, you just got a fermento, GG. Oh, just upgraded this to epic, GG. Wait, is that like... One mil. Oh, that's only 100k collection. Never mind. I completely forgot to get some repellent. What? You have to buy the lower tier one to buy the. That is so dumb. That's new, right? I swear that wasn't a thing. Maybe I'm schizo. Maybe it was a thing. I don't know. Boo. Future me here. I just had to know whether I was actually losing it or if they changed it. So I decided to check the wiki. And it turns out just two days before that clip is when it was changed. So I haven't lost it just yet. Thank you very much. Anyways, the real reason I'm here is to plug my creator code. So if you're getting anything on the Hypixel store, please use code interests. Saves you a little bit of money. I get a little bit of money. Hypixel loses a little bit of money. It's a win, win, win. Okay, now for the actual reason I'm here, there's a, a little bit of a light goal at the end of the video. So uh, hang around for that, but check that out. I can have multiple views when farming nether warts. I start off by farming sugarcane and then I move to cactus. I don't have to look at the same exact thing for three hours. This farm design is like chef's kiss. All right, I'm at the end of the farm, but I don't think I remember to set my spawn. So let's find out. Yeah, I'm an idiot. All right, contest just started. I just reset my farming tracker thingy because I'm curious how much money I make in a contest. Wait, I think I forgot to set my spawn again. Oh my God, no way, bro. No way. Oh, I'm at the end of the farm. Yeah, I forgot to set my spawn again. Oh my God, bro. I'm actually nerfing myself. Uh, all right, the contest has just ended and we got 2.2 million in 20 minutes, which was like around 7 million coins per hour, which is uh, obviously very, very bad. I literally can't see myself. But let me just check how many mutant nether words I got. 39. Wait, how much do I need again? 30, 40, so 70. All right, it's been like 40 minutes since the last clip. Almost an hour of time tracked. Let me just check if I have enough. How much is that? That's another 43. I need 70 total, so... Okay, yeah, I have enough. Well, I guess time to switch back to the mushrooms. And, uh, yeah, yippee. Also, I didn't get a single fermento in 40 minutes of farming nether warts. 
Bro, no way I got one of these before a single fermento. Well, might as well apply it to one of my accessories. So let's just do this. Uh, reforges. Let's slap on the borrowing spores. There we go. It has 11 more farming fortune. That's kind of crazy, actually. I've been at this for a while, but I decided to take a break. But a contest happened, so I had to be here for it. And surprisingly, I actually made it to platinum. Let me just quickly check how many mushrooms I've got. Okay, we got 94 there. 89 here, which in total is not enough. I need two stacks of both of these, so... I'm kind of close. I also got a Posterminator book, but I somehow still don't have enough Fermento to craft another condensed Fermento. Another one? Bro, what is what is this RNG? I mean, I'm not complaining. I'll take that. That's more farming fortune for me. Speaking of which, let me actually just claim that and apply that enchant for a little bit more farming fortune. Wait, actually, hold on. How much do I need for boots? I only need a stack and a half for the other pieces of armor. And because this is Fermento, I'm gonna keep dropping it if I just keep farming these crops, unlike the other armor pieces, so I can already upgrade to Fermento and I don't have to keep grinding for my boots. Do I have a stack and a half of this stuff? Yes, I do. What about this? Yes, I do. Okay, I can move on to the cactus then. That's amazing. All right, let me just get my angle correct like that. Hold the knife, slash set spawn this time. Remember to do that. Okay, there we go. Now I can just farm the cactus. There we go. That took literal hours. There we go. Third condensed fermento. All right. I've been at this for like half an hour. Uh, let me just quickly check if I have enough. Okay. I do in fact have enough. There we go. I got enough of literally everything. As I said earlier, I'm going to keep getting fermento even if I craft the fermento armor, but I'm not sure whether it's going to stack with my squash armor bonus or not. What happens if I take one of these pieces off? It's 0.05 now. Okay. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna make the chest plate just because. Why not? All the pieces are a plus five farm, unfortunately, so there really isn't a difference between them. Look at that beautiful mythic chest plate. All right, let's see if it actually stacks. And no, it does not. Yikes. Now that's a bit of an L. Uh, so it's gonna take me even longer now to get the remaining fermento I need to craft the rest of the pieces. I am such a genius. Dude, I look so goofy with one piece of fermento. But anyways, now that I only need fermento, I'm just gonna go back to farming sugarcane because I had the most luck while farming sugarcane. So uh, yeah, let me just get ready. There's the first fermento. Second, third, fourth. That took a long time. Fifth, sixth, actually, I'll just call it a day. It's like six in the morning. I'm gonna go to bed. I'll just finish this tomorrow. Huh? There's a contest hat? Bro, there's a contest for sugarcane. Anyways, um, look who decided to show up. It's it's the goofy ah Beth. Hey, how's it going? I managed to follow into the cave today. He had a shovel with him and a note fell out of his pocket. Oh my god, he gives me 300 copper. That's a great deal. The note reads 175, 42, minus 470. Okay, so these are coordinates that you're supposed to go to in the mushroom desert. 175. Okay, I'm right on top of it. Um, I think there's an entrance here somewhere. Wait, let me cook. Is it this? No. Is it through here? Mm, no. Wait, that block is a bit sus. What is this? That's a clay block. Can I mine it out? No. Okay, I give up. I'm looking up the wiki. Okay, turns out I'm stupid. You can actually just get down here normally. And I think it's right here, right? Yep, there we go. All right, now I have to wait for her to visit me again. Report this to Beth the next time you see her. Yep, what the? Bro, what is bro cooking up here? What the? What the? Well, whatever. I got a contest to participate in. Actually, I got five pests. Hold on, the contest is gonna have to wait. Gotta get rid of these bozos. There we go, there's a clean garden. Time for me to continue what I was doing yesterday and just pray and hope that I get fermento. 15 minutes in, I finally get my first one of the day. 10 minutes later, and I get another. This is so slow. Oh, there we go. That was so much faster. Thank you, game. The server actually felt bad for me. Boom. There we go. Second, or I guess fourth, condensed fermento. With this, I should be able to make my second piece, which is going to be the leggings. I want to keep the helmet for last because it's the best looking piece. I know my logic makes perfect sense. Boom. There we go. Fermento leggings. Oh, look at that. That is so clean, dude. Wait, actually, I might be somewhat of a genius because if I had three pieces of squash armor, it's only 0.007 or 0.006. But... Now I have 0.005 from the helmet, and then I also have that bonus from the fermento armor. My genius is almost frightening. Actually, let me just quickly get gemstones on my armor to get a little bit more farming fortune. Can I apply it to boots? Ooh, you can apply two slots to the boots as well. Wow. And let me just apply Pisterminator as well to my armor. Let's just get the full set. Wait, how high does this enchant even go? Oh, it goes up to five. It's 20 million for level five of this enchant. I can make like tier three. I don't think collecting these myself is a smart idea, so I'm just gonna buy it. 
Let me just sell these real quick to make some of my money back. And the one thing I refuse to buy is the Moss Reforged. This thing is like 50 mil each. And actually, I do have like three Dedication 4 books. So let me just apply one of those to my hoe real quick. Boom, there we go. There goes an 80 million coins enchant. Well, I'm far from done, so back to farming I go. There we go, that's a full condensed fermento. Boom, now just one more of these, and I can craft my final piece of armor. Well, not really final, because I still want to get the boots for the museum, but you know what I mean. You know, I've been at this for a while now. Let me just check if I have enough sugarcane to upgrade my hoe, so I can make 119. How much does that make it in total? 290, yeah, I do have enough. I have more than four stacks. I only have like two stacks of tickets though. Let me quickly check my contests. Is that enough? That is in fact enough. All right, I can craft myself a tier three wheat hull. Look at that. Oh, wait, actually I'm really close to 10 mil encounter. But for now, I'm just gonna do my visitors and then skedaddle because it's already pretty late. And uh, I'll continue the grind tomorrow. Dude, <laughs> no way. I get another borrowing spore. I know I said I would go sleep, but I accidentally accidentally a trade with mushrooms, so I've just been farming them to get them back, and I get a fermento and a borrowing spore. Well, don't mind if I do. I'll take that. Thank you, game. Very kind. Okay, now I'll go sleep for real. Hey, there it is. Upgraded to mythic. 10 million counter. Now time to get this to cultivate in 10. I haven't really had a chance to farm today. I literally just started 17 minutes ago and I already got to fermento and upgraded my hoe. But unfortunately, it's already pretty late. So I'm just hoping to get lucky with the fermento drops and I can manage to craft my last piece today. There we go. That took quite a while. I'm gonna keep going though, because there's a contest happening. So once that's over, I'll go ahead and craft my helmet. Actually, that's, that's kind of extremely stupid. Let me craft the helmet right away. Just so I have extra farming fortune from that. And there we go. Full fermento armor. Look at that. Clean. And thankfully, I am catching up to gold. I said thankfully, because I'm in desperate need of Jacob's tickets. There we go. Made it to gold super far from platinum, but at least I made it to gold. Oh, she's finally here. All right, now I just gotta get back to the cave thingy. And then she just starts yapping nonstop. Not that I care. I got an accessory out of it. That's all I'm here for. All right, back to the farming I go. Oh, a contest started. This is my first Sugar King contest with full fermental armor and a tier three hoe. So maybe there is a chance I can get platinum. Wait, it might, it might actually happen. One minute left and platinum only has like plus one. Oh, never mind, bruh. Honestly, this is my fault. If I had gotten the farming fortune from the past guy, I definitely would have been able to get platinum. Wait, what? I just got platinum. I, I don't trust this. I'm gonna keep going until the contest is over, and then I'm gonna go check the bro. Okay, chat message says I actually got platinum, but I do not believe that. It's actually real. I made it to plat, but it says platinum has 668k, while I only got 664k. You know what? I am not complaining. Anyways, that's plus one platinum crop for me. So now I'm only missing netherworts, melons, and carrots and wheat. And you know what? Speaking of netherworts, I might as well just switch to farming netherworts now because I still need to get this hoe to tier three. And uh, hopefully I can get platinum in the process. Oh, I just got a fermento four minutes in. So uh, I guess I'll see you in half an hour once I get the other one. Oh, hey, it only took like 17 minutes instead of half an hour. Boom, there we go. That's another condensed fermento. How much can I make? 131. If this is enough to upgrade my hoe, then I'm out of here. Okay, it's nowhere near enough. Well, I guess I'm still gonna be stuck farming, in other words. Okay, you know what? Screw this. It's been an hour. I haven't gotten a single fermento. I'm gonna go back to farming sugarcane now. Okay, that's exactly one hour of farming cane and just compare the amount of fermento I have to what I had when I was farming netherworts. I had three fermento to begin with. Everything else I got in this hour. I got 12 fermento. Obviously this is all RNG, so I could get zero in the next hour. You can never know. But uh, yeah, I, I feel like with sugarcane, it's a lot easier to drop fermento. So let me just quickly get that. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know why I was expecting to be able to craft more than one, but uh, yeah. Another hour of farming, another fermento. Wait, I already got it to cultivate a nine? That's 20 million, isn't it? Oh my god. Dude, I need to go touch some grass. Uh, anyways, I can make another condensed fermento. So boom, I'm, I'm starting to see the end of the tunnel. At long last, that is the last fermento I need. I can finally craft 
the last two condensed fermento. I actually had enough for a while, but decided to keep going to get the rest I need for the boots. So I'm just craft those as well. There we go. Now let me just get the squash ring and go ahead and make it into a rare accessory. Yes, all of that was only for a rare accessory, but that is plus 30 farming fortune. So I will take that. Thank you game. Very cool. Now give me the boots. Give me the mushrooms. Fermento boots. There we go. Quick trip to the museum. Go ahead and donate this. Get some juicy scumbag XP. And my goal is finally completed. It's uh, 7 in the morning, by the way. But uh, yeah, we got full fermento armor, a fermento artifact as well. I am dripped out. So now it's time that I try to get diamond. Let me just check the upcoming contests and uh, we'll see if I can try. Oh, potatoes. Perfect. Because that's probably my best shot, given that my potato hoe is pretty much maxed out. Actually, it's far from maxed out because it's missing a lot of upgrades. So let me just get one of my dedication for books. Slap it on and also get some gemstones on this thing As usual only going for flawless because I don't want to be broke speaking of which I actually need to apply one to my helmet So let me just do that real quick. There we go Something else I can do is just get my compost and unlock as many plots as I can I should be able to buy a couple. Yep There we go and this one and this one. That's just a little tiny bit extra farming fortune All right, the contest is starting pretty soon So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this here 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 and and here, there we go. Can't forget about this guy, of course. And the contest has started. Oh, I just realized I completely forgot about Anita's artifact. I could have waited for a potato contest that has the bonus from that, but I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm definitely getting diamond. Forget about diamond. I'm not even getting platinum and it's been over three minutes. I get really close. It says platinum has plus one. And then when it updates, the difference keeps growing. It started off with like plus 2K. Now it's plus 11K. This is the highest farming fortune I have ever had. But I'm not even getting platinum, let alone diamond. I don't know what's going on. Wait, actually, I just remembered something. Uh, I forgot to upgrade this. Okay, there we go. I don't know how much farming fortune that was, but it definitely was not that big of- Oh my god, I stopped farming for three seconds, then the difference doubles. It went from 11k to 23k. How competitive is this? It's 7 in the morning, dude. I just checked out my last farming video on my phone, and I got platinum around 11 minutes in, with a way worse farming design, and... Oh, there we go. Finally, platinum. Diamond has 80k over me. I have 10 minutes. Um, yeah, no, I don't think I can do this. The closest I get is around like 62k. And then it updates and it's back to like 73k. I don't know my personal best in potatoes, but it's definitely getting destroyed. I got a million with two minutes left. Or maybe I'm not destroying my personal best after all. Half a minute left and I still haven't gotten the message which is very strange. How? My armor is better, my tool is better, my farming fortune is the highest it's ever been. What? No wonder I couldn't get diamond. I can't even beat my own personal best. And the contest is over. That is so weird. Oh, never mind. This is a new personal best. I didn't get a message in chat though. Huh, very weird. Hold on, let me see the difference. Like 70K more? I mean, it's a decent amount, but I was expecting more, honestly. I got fermento armor. Last time I had squash. I have to get gold and melons, in other words, because I'm still missing those. So uh, let me check the contest real quick. Oh, we got a perfect melon contest in an hour and 40 minutes. That's great. And another words contest right after it. In the meantime, I'll just go back to farming some nether words, and hopefully I can get enough to upgrade this to tier three by the time the contest rolls around. Okay, real quick, just uh, boom, bada, boom, like that, and then TP back here and jump down here and... Uh, uh. Eh, eh, oh, eh, come on. There we go. Bro, melons are so ridiculous. I already got a million, like 12 minutes in, but I, I can't even catch up to gold. Well, that was a complete failure. Uh, hopefully, in other words, will be a bit better than that. That's embarrassing, man. I can't even get gold and melons. That I and I was hoping to get diamond and potatoes earlier. Contest is starting very soon, and I completely forgot to craft my tier 3 hoe. So let me just do this real quick. Boom, go here, give me those. Uh, that's not enough tickets. Oh no, don't tell me I don't have enough tickets. I'm so close! Wait, hold on. Um, middle trade. Okay, yes, give me, okay, there we go, that's enough. You go here, I believe tickets like this. And boom, there we go, tier three, nether words ho. Um, just boom here. Just on time? Oh, this stupid bug, dude. Sometimes the hoe doesn't like insta mine. It's weird. Anyhow, contest started. Tier 3, in other words, how unlocked. GG's. Uh oh. I have three pests. 
Hopefully I don't get a fourth. I really can't handle a 5% reduction in farming fortune right now. Of course. Yeah, of course it happens. Of course. And the contest is over. Gold secured. I will absolutely take that. Not quite diamond or even platinum for that matter, but hey, that's another gold medal. Anyhow, now that I finally have actual farming gear, I want to see how decent farming is for money. I know that I've been farming the whole entire video, but I haven't really been focusing on how much I'm making. I've just been farming for Fermento. Now, as far as I know, melons are actually the best crop for money. So even though I can't even get gold in these, I have to farm them just for like an hour or so to see how much money I'm going to make from them. And uh, I guess I'll do an hour of like sugarcane or maybe something else. I don't know. We'll see. And that is one hour of farming melons. According to the farming tracker, I made 10.2 million coins, but just to make sure I actually emptied all of my sacks just to see how much exactly I made. So let me just check how many melons. That's 201 enchanted melon blocks. And I also got 17 squash, which is actually 1.2 mil. Hey, that's like 10th of my profit. What the hell? All right, let me just check. Uh, we got 10.1 million coins here and then the squash is 1.2 million so the farming tracker did not take the squash into account so that's 11 point uh like 3.4 million something around that it's not bad honestly i was i was expecting less than that and actually before i do the other test let me just quickly do this uh recipe garden now let me just get one of these and i don't have the enchanted leather it's amazing Okay, go ahead and make that. There we go. Just throw you in there now. I don't have to worry about tickets and squash and all of that. All right, so the next test is going to be sugarcane. Who could have seen that coming? It's not like that's my second best tool at the moment. Anyhow, uh, I'll, uh, I'll see you in an hour. Boom, bada, boom. That is an hour of farming sugarcane. Profit calculator is saying I made a lot less from this compared to melons, but uh, let's just see real quick. How much did I actually get? Exactly 83. How much is this worth? 8.6 million. And the fermento is 1. Point, let's just say 1.6 million as well. Which is actually a lot less than melons. Like a lot less. Even though I honestly got a decent amount of fermento, I got six in an hour. That's pretty lucky. Hmm. Okay. That's an hour of uh, cocoa beans. I did some research and apparently cocoa beans are also really, really good for money. I even switched my reforge here to bountiful instead of blessed. We got 134 cookies, which is worth 10.7 mil. And of course I can't forget about the squash. That's an extra 1.1 mil. So in total 11.8 mil. That is more than melons. So in conclusion, is farming good for money? Well, I mean, uh, sort of. It's obviously not as good as mining, but farming is so significantly easier to do. You don't have to set up anything. It requires so much less brain activity, which as Scarablock players, that's what we're looking for. And as I said multiple times throughout this video, my farming setup is far from perfect. I don't have the right reforge. My equipment isn't maxed. I'm not farming 60. My tools don't have perfect gemstones, etc., etc. I can probably keep going, but uh, you get the point. And since I've been farming sugarcane for a long time this video, let me just check out how much I actually made from it. 100 million coins, not bad. I did use a lot of resources to craft my tools, like four stacks of enchanted cane for my hoe and four stacks of mutant nether wart. So I probably could have made a lot more if I sold those, but you know, it, it makes sense. Also to craft my armor, I almost forgot about that. That also costs a lot because for Fermento armor is not cheap. It's like 200 million coins for the whole set. But as we all know, Fermento armor is far from the biggest flex in farming. So uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like. If we get like, uh, like let's go for something absolutely insane because I really don't want to do this. Let's go for 20,000 likes. If this video gets 20,000 likes, I'll get every single tool to cultivate in 10. Those words did not come out of my mouth now. Did, did they? I, I didn't say that, did I? Okay, I really gotta wrap up this video before I start tweaking and say something stupid like 30k for space helmet. Anyways, thank you so much for watching gamers. Thank you WNAI for sponsoring this video. Thank you to my channel members. And I'll see you later. Peace.